السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس فنڈامنٹلز آف فزکس بائی ہیلڈے ریزنک اینڈ واکس کی لیکچر سیریز کی ایک نئے لیکچر کے ساتھ آپ کی دوست حاضر ہیں آج ہم نے کچھ مزید کوشچن کرنے چیپٹر سیون سے جو پچھلے ہم شروع کیا تھا تو کوشچن نمبر نائنٹین ہے اے کارڈ از یوز ٹو ورٹیکلی لوور اینڈ انیشیلی اسٹیشنری بلاک آف میس ایم ایٹ کانسٹینٹ ڈاؤن ورڈ ایکسلریشن آف جی ون فور یعنی ایک کارڈ کے ذریعے ایک کارڈ کو ایستہ ایستہ نیچے اتارا جاتا ہے تاکہ فری فال نہ ہو لیکن اس وقت اس کی ایکسلریشن ہے جیسے کہ اردو جی بائی فور ون فورتھ آف دی ایکسلریشن ڈیو ٹو گریوٹی سو کوشچن از وین دی بلاک ہیز فالن تھرو اے ڈسٹینس آف ڈی فائنڈ اے پارٹ ہے ورک ڈن آن کارڈ ورک ڈن بائی دی کارڈ فورس آن دی بلاک اب دیکھیں کارڈ فورس از ایکٹنگ اپ ورڈ اینڈ بلاک از موونگ ڈاؤن ورڈ سو نیٹ فورس از ان دی ڈاؤن ورڈ ڈائریکشن اینڈ نیٹ فورس از آلویز ایکول ٹو بائی نیوٹر سیکنڈ لا موشن ایف از ایکول ٹو ایم اے سو ہیئر نیٹ فورس از ایکول ٹو ایف جی مائنس ایف بیکاز نیٹ فورس از ڈاؤن ورڈ ڈائریکشن سو ایف جی مائنس ایف ول بی ایکول ٹو ایف جی مائنس ایف ول بی ایکول ٹو ایم اے اینڈ فرام ہیئر وی کین کیلکولیٹ فورس ایف بائی The force by card is equal to mg minus ma. Putting the values of a is equal to g by 4 and then simplifying we get the force of the card is equal to 3 by 4 mg. So this is the force. Now this force is in upward direction. F, F is in upward direction. And displacement is in downward direction. So they are opposite to each other. Therefore, angle between force and displacement phi is equal to 180 degree. Work done is always equal to FD cos 180 by a constant force. So therefore, W is equal to FD cos 180. Cos 180 is minus 1. So it is minus FD. F ki value kya hai? F is 3 over 4 mg. 3 over 4 mg and D displacement. D is D. So work done by the card force is equal to minus 3 by 4 mg d. Get it? So this is how we get the, the work done by the card force. Next is work done by the gravitational force. So next is work done by the gravitational force. Here work done by the gravitational force. Gravitational force fg is equal to mg. And the displacement is B phi is in this case displacement is also in a downward direction, F is also in downward direction, so phi is zero degree. Therefore, work done by gravitational force is equal to F D cos of F G F G is F force of gravitation into cos of zero degree. Cos zero is one, so it will be F G is equal to M G, so it is equal to M G into d so work done by the gravitational force is equal to mgd and work done by the card force was minus 3 or 4 mgd so this is b part c part is kinetic energy c part is kinetic energy so to find kinetic energy we use the Kinetic, work kinetic energy is zero. So work done, net work done is always equal to change in kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy is equal to, so, so net work done is equal to Kf, final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. Here, the initial speed was zero because the object was stationary initially therefore ki will be equal to zero therefore the net work done will be equal to kinetic energy final kinetic energy or total kinetic energy so net work we, we, we have to find the net work done net work done work is scalar quantity net work done is equal to work plus work done by the card force plus work done by the gravity and this should be equal to kinetic energy and putting the values of work done by the card force and work done by gravity from part A and B we get the kinetic energy is equal to mg d 
minus 3 by 4 mg d therefore k is equal to 1 by 4 mg This is the C part. So, this is how you can find the kinetic energy of the body. This D part is find the speed of the body. D part is find speed. We know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. So, therefore, using the answer in C part, that is kinetic energy is equal to 1 over 4 mgd is equal to half mv square so m is cancelled with m 2 1 the 2 2 the we get v square is equal to half g d r taking square root that v is equal to square root of half g d so in this way, we can find the speed of the object by using the formula for kinetic energy. K is equal to half mv square. Putting the value of k from part c, which is equal to 1 over 4 mgd. And we know that this is equal to half mv square. Mass is capital M as given by uh, problem statement. So m is cancelled with m. 2 1 the 2 2 the simplified. So v square we get v square is equal to half gd taking square root we get V is equal to half GT. So this completes our question number 19. According to given figure, uh, a block of ice slides down a frictionless ramp at angle of theta. And theta is given to be 50 degree. Theta is given as 50 degree. The question is, and uh, while an ice worker pulls on the block by a rope with a force FR whose magnitude is 50 Newton through a distance D. This is distance D. D is 0 0.50 meter. The change in its kinetic energy increased by its kinetic energy increased by 80 uh, question is agar ye rope na hoti to phir iski kinetic energy mein kitna izafa hota actually humne ye dekhna hai ki rope ki wajah se isne ye extra kaam work kiya to agar hum rope ka work nikal le isme minus kar le to that will be the in will be equal to fr into d because FR and D are in the same direction. Meter. So the change in kinetic energy will be 25 down. So if the rope was not present, then the kinetic energy change will be increased by 25. Because 25 down work has been added or done by the rope force. Therefore, if rope was not present, then change in kinetic energy will be 80, 80 plus 25. So in this in our, our problem's answer is 25. Now. The question is in figure 7.34 is 0.25 kilogram block of cheese lies on the floor of a 900 kilogram elevator cab that is being pulled upward by a cable through a distance of d1 which is equal to 2.4 meter and then through a distance of d2 which is 10.5 meter question part a is through d1 if the normal force on the block from the floor has a constant magnitude of 3 newton how much work is done on the cab by the force from the cable Shown the figure, the, this is cab, and in its floor there is a pack of cheese. The mass of cheese is 0 0.25 kilogram. 
so in this case the weight of the cheese packet is doing working acting down what is equal to mg similarly mass of the cab is 900 kg therefore the mass of cab is acting downward and this is equal to uh, weight is equal to mg this is the weight of the cab now here is it, this cheese packet is in contact with the floor of the cab so there will be a normal reaction or normal force from the cab and this is equal to fn a cable is pulling this cab upward so in this case two forces f and fn are acting upward and two forces are acting downward therefore we can write that the upward force is f plus fn f and, and this uh, downward force is m plus m into g and this should be equal to total net force total net force is equal to total mass total mass is m plus m into some acceleration a which is being produced in this overall cap g is plus cap is m plus m into it and here we will put a negative sign here because this is upward force this is downward force so net force is upward force minus downward force is equal to m a m plus m is a total so we can write here as f is equal to m plus m into g we will take this to right angle right angle plus m into m into a this will be become minus minus f s so this is the net force or we can write it like that f is equal to we take m plus m common so we get m plus m into g plus a minus f n and here we have know we know that the value of f n the value of f n is value of f n is 300 value of f n is 3 newton but we do not know a so we have to find a first in our because we cannot take uh, we cannot de determine or uh, uh, calculate two unknown from one equation we have to calculate a first so how to calculate a it is very easy for g's for g's only for g's for g's only we have fn is equal to 3 fn is equal to 3.00 newton and so therefore this this cheese packet is also going with same acceleration as the cab so we can write f n minus mg which is downward weight of the is equal to ma so we can find here a is equal to fn minus mg divided by m putting values of fn m and g we know that f is 3 minus m is 0.25 and g is 9.8 divided by m m is 0.25 simplifying this we get a is equal to 2.20 meter 
per second speed. So this is acceleration. We put we can put this value here. And here d1 is given as d1 is 2.40. D1 is 2.40 meter. Therefore, work done through d1 will be equal to f into d1. Therefore, it will become m plus m putting all values we know now we have m 900 small m as 0.25 kilogram g is 9.8 a we calculate as 2.20 f in is given as 3 putting all that values and then multiplying with d we get w1 is equal to 2.59 into 10 raised to the power 4 joule or this can be written as 25.9 kilojoule. That's it.